Hello friends and neighbors, this is Riss Pig, and today I'm drawing my favorite character from the Adventure Zone Balance series. Taco! From TV? If you don't know this character or this series, you are missing out because it is hours and hours of hilarious adventure and hijinks. The Adventure Zone cast are made up of three real-life brothers and their father. You may have heard of them, it's Justin, Travis Griffin, and their dad, Clint McElroy. They've got other shows like Sawbones, My Brother, My Brother and Me, and so on, but I found Adventure Zone first. Before them, I was always curious about D&D from the way it was portrayed in mainstream media. It was always referred to as a mega nerd activity, something to be ashamed of. But I am a mega nerd. In middle school, I read manga and had a weeaboo name. Oh god. I had composition journals full of handwritten fan fiction that I hope to god are fully rotted away and turned into recycled paper so that they may never see the light of day. However, uh, because of the satanic panic and being a 90s kid, there was a lot of leftover stigma about Dungeons and Dragons. So my only access to it was through jokes made on TV shows. Actually, does anyone remember that episode of Lizzie McGuire that had an anti d d story? I think I should find that episode again so that I know I didn't imagine it. Oh, by the way, you're going to see a lot of pauses in this video. I just want you to know that the footage isn't frozen. It's just that part of my process is not having a process. I tend to have a very general idea in the beginning and then when I reach a stopping point in my imagination, I tend to just stare at the screen for a long time uh, and determine what I'm gonna do next. And it all depends on how tired I am, what kind of day I had, what time is it, you get it. I know for this one, I wanted to push myself on adding a background, my big weakness, and I am sad that I didn't go as far as I wanted, but honestly, I was pretty pooped from my day job, so my brain juice crashed in the imagination department. Next time I draw a kitchen, pinky swear, I'll make it look like a real kitchen. However, for this kitchen, I know I wanted at least a touch of the ostentatious, so it had to be a bright, obnoxious color. And you'll see down the line that I found it too obnoxious and applied a filter to mute the colors. I also needed them to be less intense so you could actually see Taco, who was supposed to be the main focus. Speaking of Taco, one of my favorite things about his design is that you could do pretty much anything. As long as the clothes are extra, the hat is big, and he's an elf. If he's any of these things, he's recognizably Taco. I took inspiration from Carrie Peach's artwork, the seafoam green skin and blonde hair, but I take great pride in the donut hat. That was something that took a while to ponder. His hats have a lot of modes that go between giant summer straw hats, you know, at the beach, to floral church hat, but since this was meant to be a cute scene, I needed a cute hat. You've got your basic frosted and glazed donuts, but I made sure to include a spiral concha, because I am Mexican, so I gotta plop some representation in there. The apron took a lot longer to consider. We know that because it's taco, it can't be a plain apron. I mean, it ended up sort of plain, but it's not blank. Oh, um, brief interruption. You will see jumps in progress because I'm going back and forth between Psy and Photoshop. 99% of my renders are always done in Photoshop, but there's some tools I'm more fluent with in Psy. So sometimes I do some zhuzhing over there before I continue coloring. Like for instance, the wallpaper design and then the apron. Right, yeah, speaking of the apron, I had a short list of uh, lame phrases like kiss the wizard and wine o'clock. I had decided on wine o'clock for a while because Taco seemed the type to ironically yet also unironically wear that, but since 
Spoilers, by the way, come back in five seconds. But since his boyfriend works for the goddess of death, I went with Death by Chocolate. I found the Adventure Zone through a YouTube video that kept coming up on my recommends, which was Kozen's animatic Taco Doesn't Want to Steal. I'll provide a link in the description. It made me laugh so much that I had to look into the source. This, in addition to E. Morton Jill's Magic Lessons video, I was like, I gotta get to know this character that talks like Emo Phillips. And by the way, I was about 60 episodes in before I started playing D&D, and I spent that whole time not understanding what a spell slot was. It was something I heard them say dozens of times, and I just didn't bother finding out what it meant. By the time I started playing, I was like, I'll be a fighter, because apparently playing a caster is a pain. And there you have it. This has been my speed draw of Taco Taco from TV of the Adventure Zone. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to you coming back. Feel free to check out my Diplomatic Approach series, where I retell the story of the Exandria campaign I played for two years. Other information, such as where to find me, are in the description. Have a great day.